everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa if you guys are new here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my Monica Vinader Black Friday haul and I'm gonna go through some of my own personal recommendations because if you guys didn't know Monica Vinader is having a 30% off sale for Black Friday and if you guys are watching this video and it's not Black Friday anymore you guys can also use my links down below and you'll get at least 20% off so that's still really good but for Black Friday they're having 30% off which is absolutely unreal so with that being said I'm gonna go right into my haul and then to the recommendation for my haul this time I got four items and I didn't actually open them yet so I have no idea what order this is gonna be in but let's get right into the first box Okay, starting with the first box, as you guys can see, their packaging is absolutely stunning. It comes in this burgundy box and you can even pull it out like this. I feel like this experience alone is like you're in the store, but also, oh my God, do you guys see the first product? This item, if you guys are watching my video for the first time, you probably won't know this, but if you have seen my Monica Vineter videos before, then you will know this design has an absolute chokehold on me. I feel like I have this pendant already in two different forms. So I have a really long necklace and I had to buy that separately. I had to buy the pendant and I had to buy the chain and I chose to buy the long chain. I also have a ring in this little design and now I have a bracelet version. So I'm super excited to add this to my collection. If you guys didn't know, I love Monica Vinader on all occasions, but I would say that my most frequently worn Monica Vinader times is either A, for a little bit like fancy events because I really like their statement jewelry. And the other occasion I love wearing Monica Vinader because of the way she designs her jewelry is when I'm on vacation. And I feel like designs like this one is honestly just so perfect for your holidays and I have just a literal dedicated kind of jewelry haul that I always wear when I'm on vacation. So this is what the bracelet looks like on and I'm going to be showing you, I haven't put on any of their bracelets yet because I'm going to show you how I stack it later because there are some of my favorite pieces. But honestly, the Monica Vinader bracelet stack is so so gorgeous you guys I honestly in the summer couldn't even stop staring at my wrist anytime I'm out I feel like you know those people who just get engaged and they're like basically like hi and like they're waving with their left hand and it's just basic you're basically talking like this any chance you get or even when you get your nails done you're like hey everyone like how's it going I feel like that was me with my Monica Vinader bracelet stack because I figured it out you guys the combo that I had for lack of a better word, and not to toot my own horn, but my stack was elite, okay? And I'm gonna recreate it on camera for you guys. But anyway, that will be for later, so I'm gonna move on to the second product. Okay, the second product is a little bit of a thicker box, and I have a feeling I know which one this is. Okay, so as I mentioned, I love Monica Vinader for their statement jewelry. I really wanted some really big, chunky hoops. As you can see, these ones are really unique because instead of having a very symmetrical width, you can see that it goes from thin to thick and the bottom being the thickest part I'm gonna try these on for you and show you what it looks like oh my gosh these are stunning so typically I probably wouldn't wear it with the outfit that I'm wearing right now because I feel like the sweater is giving more casual vibes but genuinely how I would style this it would be honestly more for occasions that are a little bit formal like maybe a fancy dinner party or something like that and I would probably wear my hair up like this so you can see the earrings but this is how and like have my hair kind of fall to the side but this is honestly how I would style these earrings because I feel like you just want the jewelry piece to kind of speak for itself and you don't want to draw too much attention away from it with other things and you also want to kind of like match the vibe so I feel like this is too casual for the earrings but that's how I would style these guys okay moving on to the next box this one is flatter but wider wonder what it is it is moment of truth oh my god I already know what it is okay it is I mean I know I ordered this one but 
guys this is my second item in this exact product because I have this one in the silver and I loved it so much. I wore it all year, especially on special occasions. It made me look like such a badass, but like a bougie badass. So I had it in silver and I was like, I need to get the gold. Like, I don't even care if it's the same product. It's like, you know when something just works and you really like a product and it comes in different colors, you're like, you might as well get all the different colors. So this is me with this product and actually a lot of her products but this one especially guys this necklace is probably one of my favorites I'm gonna show you what the chain looks like so if you guys look at it it's a very thick chained necklace but the way that it's designed like I'm just I really really appreciate the little details in the chain so I feel like typically if you buy a chain necklace it's literally just like a, a symmetrical rectangle and it like links together whatever but if you look at the detail of this chain you can see that it's actually it gets like hollow in the middle and it gets wider at the top and I know it's like maybe something you can't even see but it's these little details that is what makes Monica Vinader jewelry so unique because she really really focuses on design it's not really the most basic it's honestly truly to be appreciated I also really like how she designed the clasp because instead of a really typical clasp it really goes with the vibe of the necklace so how this looks is super seamless if if I literally twist this entire necklace around you could not tell that I'm wearing the back of the necklace maybe except for this like little logo thing I don't know if you guys can see this like logo thing that's popping out over here in like the little chain but if you look at how this chain is designed it's literally within one of the chains and that makes it so beautiful instead of having like a lobster clasp you can literally just hook it on like this which also if you also live alone like me it makes it really easy to put on so I can literally just hold it and feel for it of course the one time i try to demonstrate it's never going to happen it's just that's the way life goes you guys i promise it's usually easier so this is what the necklace looks like and i just really really appreciate the detail of her designs and it is really really bold so you can wear this on its own or if you want to wear another pendant but usually i like to just wear it alone it's so funny because i feel like i would also not wear this pendant with this sweater but anyway moving on to the last part of my haul it's another big box here so let's take a look so the last items that i got are these earrings right here this one is another collaboration that monica vinader did with kate young and this is so cute because if you guys didn't know i'm very obsessed right now with the tortoise design i feel like i have it in almost anything like i got it in my sunglasses i try to get it in i don't know just like other things I can't even remember what other things I have. Oh, my nails. At one point I had tortoise nails and it's just such a great like fall color and or just like when you want to soften up your look a little bit because black is really harsh but brown from afar can kind of give the same vibe but it's actually a lot softer. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll probably notice that I've been wearing a lot of brown outfits. I feel like I wanted some jewelry to go with it. So this is why I got these earrings and I'm gonna try them on for you okay I just put these earrings on and I'm so in love I feel like these earrings are more of the vibe of the sweater that I'm wearing today but this is what it looks like I just feel like the design is so fashionable which makes sense because Kate Young if you guys didn't know because I didn't I had to kind of search it up Kate Young is a celebrity stylist and her previous clients included Selena Gomez and Nina Dobrev etc so anyway it is no surprise that a lot of her designs are really fashionable and as much as I love fine jewelry I feel like throughout the years and as my outfits are evolving and as many episodes of Selling Sunset that I'm watching, I'm actually starting to really appreciate statement jewelry and how that's actually incorporated within fashion instead of always wearing the same things. So I like to switch it up here and there and I really, really like these earrings. So that was pretty much the Black Friday haul portion. I'm gonna go on to my recommendations now. So I'm gonna go by category and honestly, I do own a lot of products from Monica Vinader. As you guys can see, this is my jewelry case from them. And these are all my Monica Vinader products. It only has Monica Vinader products in here. And anyway, so I'm gonna go through some of my favorites and must-haves. I do wear all of them throughout the year, but I will just go 
go through the ones that I wear the most. I know that because it's Black Friday, I feel like if some of the pieces are expensive, this definitely is the biggest sale of the year. So it's going to be the perfect time for you guys to make that splurge because you're going to be splurging less than you would normally you know what i mean girl math so it's 30 percent off basically you're making money so i want to start off with necklaces so the first necklace that i'm going to recommend is definitely the one that i'm wearing but in silver this is the original piece that i got and you guys, like I said, I cannot tell you guys how in love with this I am. I did a photo shoot on the beach in Miami and I wore it with this dress and that entire look was just stunning. Like I absolutely love this. So I definitely recommend you checking this out. I also feel like I get a lot of questions when I wear this style. So I'm not sure if you guys can see it from the goals, but either one of these you know, whichever tickles you fancy. Personally, I really enjoyed the silver and I just got the gold. So, I mean, I like it already, but not long enough for me to kind of recommend it right now. So definitely the silver is one piece that I truly, truly love. I also feel like silver as a color is coming back. So whether you want to invest in white gold or sterling silver jewelry, I think really now is the time because I really do think it's making a comeback. And another thing I wanted to say is that what really surprises me the most is that the sterling silver and the gold plated jewelry is really, really good quality. No matter how long I put it in my box for, I feel like it doesn't really tarnish and honestly even though i probably shouldn't be doing this and i definitely don't recommend it but i personally still leave it on whenever i shower and sleep and all of that because if you guys have been watching my videos for a really long time you guys know that because of these babies my nails it is really really hard for me to take on and off jewelry especially when it comes to necklaces and bracelets at least it's hard enough that I don't want to be doing it every day. Personally, I really like the quality and not saying you should do this, but as someone who has been washing and sleeping and all of that with it, mine has been holding up fine. So I can only imagine for someone who doesn't do it, how the quality is going to hold up even more. That being said, actually, this is a really good segue because the next item that I want to recommend for you is another collab piece with Kate Young. So this necklace, Oh my gosh. If you guys already watched my other video, you will know the combination, okay? This is the most elite combination. So I'm just gonna show you the other item that I wear this with. This combination, I got so many questions when I was traveling and it was the perfect combo. Both look amazing alone, but together, I just, it's like Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. You know what I mean? Like individually, they're great seems like nice people but together you're like oh my god all my entire tiktok is literally about them this is like what this is this necklace oh my god it's so beautiful i can't even describe i honestly think that out of everything that i'm going to recommend to you this is probably the necklace if you had to pick one item i would pick this necklace but that being said and as I said, the reason why I even brought up quality is because this item, I wore it to death in the summer. I was in Greece, I was swimming, showering, like doing all the activities, like hiking, ATV, doing all of this stuff. I never once took this necklace off or this one, but because of that and the wear and tear, it sort of fell apart a little bit. Like one of the parts fell off and your customer service is amazing. If you guys didn't know, they have like a five-year warranty. So if you contact them, they will deal with it for you. So I ended up sending my piece in and I got it fixed slash maybe they sent me a new one. So this is what it looks like. And I'm just so happy because this is going to be the necklace stack I'm going to be wearing next summer again. I think unless if she comes out with something better but yeah so the next necklace i want to show you guys up close is this one so this one in particular make sure you follow the link down below because monica vinegar has a lot of pearl items and this is the one that i love the most by far just because the size is absolutely perfect to me it's really really dainty so it's not super in your face that it's a pearl product but as you guys know pearl and gold that combination 
combination is just super summery so this is why this combo in Greece was such an elite combo and I highly recommend that everybody get it so anyway that being said because I got that pearl necklace and was absolutely in love I ended up also getting the matching bracelet for it and I absolutely have no regrets this is also part of my bracelet stack that I'm gonna show you guys later that I said was elite the last necklace that I'm going to recommend and this one is because not only is it really comfortable and I love it but also this is another necklace that I get a lot of questions on it is in this pattern right here and it just sits so flat on your neck it looks like it's melted slash molded onto your skin it is so beautiful and I always get so many questions on this necklace this is my other necklace that I really recommend so anyway you have those four necklaces for you to check out I want to move on to bracelets now because I feel like I already did one bracelet might as well continue the bracelet chain actually I just realized I have one more necklace the last necklace I want to show you is this heart pendant and I know that it looks like a very simple heart but honestly I feel like this particular heart is shaped exactly the way I want it and you would be surprised how hard this is to screw up okay because I feel like some hearts are like too fat some hearts are too skinny some hearts are just there's so many different ways that you can draw a heart and I just feel like sometimes it just the proportions are off in some way or another or the color of the necklace and I just really like how this one is fully gold and in the shape that I want exactly and this necklace also goes really well with a lot of the necklaces that I have shown you I also got questions about this necklace in the past if you're looking for more of like an everyday necklace I feel like this one is it because it has that pendant style so this is the pendant necklace that I recommend because I realize I recommended a lot of chains and not really any one with the pendant okay you guys this haul is all over the place I'm so sorry I literally forgot the one necklace that matched my bracelet which is this one I'm sorry because you cannot live without this so let me change that there are a total of five necklaces that I'm recommending okay to be fair I own like four more and so I did really narrow it down the reason why that I'm recommending this is because this one is especially in the winter very very good to go over top of your sweaters especially if you're wearing a crew neck sweater and it also stands out a little bit more so one of my latest Instagram photos I'm wearing a red crew neck sweater and you can see the pendant dangling and I actually got some DMs about it because that's the only piece that you can actually see from afar so I like to recommend things that are sort of arranged because that way if you're not so much a chain person and you're more like a small little pendant person you have that recommendation and then if you want more of like a long pendant recommendation then I have this one as well for you okay so going on to bracelets because I already started the bracelet recommendation with the pearl I want to recommend some of my favorite ones and the ones that was part of my summer stack so there are four bracelets that I'm recommending this bracelet I already went through the second bracelet I want to recommend is this chain right here this chain is so beautiful you do not want to underestimate it I know it looks very simple but if you look up close and especially if you actually feel it which you can't do because you know technology hasn't gone that far yet maybe one day I can stick out my you know bracelet and you can feel it from your screen or something I don't know but if you feel this this is so lightweight and it just it honestly feels like kind of like a drawstring a little bit like a high quality metallic like thin metallic drawstring it just looks so good on and I feel like maybe on its own you're kind of like meh but then dun 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 can I put some dramatic effects if you add this with some of the items that I have mentioned you you guys the combination is elite so I'm gonna put it all together for you in a second actually I'll put it on now so we can Look at it together so this is what it looks like on its own and we're starting to build this stack i feel like right now it still looks underwhelming but just wait until the whole thing is constructed the second bracelet that i want to recommend is a simple gold bar bracelet this is what it looks like i actually had this engraved and mine says mealy m-e-e-l-i it is actually the name of my grandmother i was the closest with her and she means the world to me she's also one of the first people to ever believe in me and I was seven she's like 
you're gonna be an entrepreneur, I just know it, you're gonna do your own thing, and just, she meant so much to me, and actually one of the first things, and only things actually, she left me for my inheritance is this pearl necklace. I think I told the story before. Anyway, so I feel like when it comes to jewelry, I just have a really special bond with her, and I don't know, just jewelry in general, so I thought it was really fitting to have her name spelt in English, so obviously it's actually Chinese, but anyway, spelt in English and on my wrist so I can see it at all times, so when I look at it, then it reminds me to, I don't know, just keep going basically, and that she's here with me. Anyway, so obviously you can engrave it to whatever you want, that was kind of my own choice of what I wanted to engrave it to, and the other thing I wanted to say about this bracelet is the other reason I love it is because it doesn't have that issue where it's really hard for me to put on as you guys can see this is really easy to take on and off and I can do it very quickly even though I live alone so I just really really like that I also love that the string is actually gold it's not your typical rope or string or whatever in this type of design that you would typically see I just feel like it looks so classy and you can already start seeing that the bracelet stack is starting to build here. What I also really like about this combination is the fact that we're actually mixing metals so we're not just sticking to yellow goals but we're mixing different colors and together it looks really good. The last bracelet that I want to recommend you is a similar style but instead of an engravable bar this one is with diamonds and it just has a diamond bar and it is paired with sterling silver so I just feel like this one also looks really really classy once again easy to put on sometimes i actually use my teeth this is what it looks like up close and all around and you can start seeing that this is looking really cute and then finally of course adding the bracelet that really ties it together which is the first one that i recommended and it is this pearl one right here. This is what the pearl one looks like on its own. I kept it kind of loose, but I kind of like it like this because you can see that there's a lot of dangly things going on. When I wear this all together, this is what the stack looks like and I just think it's so pretty. This is what my bracelet stack looks like in Europe minus the one that I just got, but this is pretty much the vibe and i just feel like it really really elevated my entire style moving on to rings this is really hard because i have so many rings from monica vinader but once again i'm going to choose some of my favorites starting with the first one that i absolutely love it's actually this ring right here this one has a blue tone to it and this one i honestly thought was perfect for the summertime especially for greece because as you guys know greece has a lot of blues the blue ceilings um it also has a lot of gold so together this is what it looks like and I absolutely love this ring I like to keep it on my index finger and another thing that I really like about Monica Vinader is that her rings actually go into the half sizes and I felt like that made a huge difference for me because with the brands that only have whole sizes sometimes I would feel like it's a little bit too tight and then other times it would be too loose because I always have to choose from the actual whole number so with this my personal ring size is 6.5 and I found that it has made a huge difference it is honestly so much more comfortable the next ring that I also love is this diamond detailed ring I just feel like this looks so nice as you guys can see Monica Vinader really focuses on not just the design itself but really the size within the design so you can see it going from thin to thick and I also wear this together like so and this is what it looks like and I feel like it looks really really cute and it was perfect for my vacation as well. The next ring, I try not to put it first because I didn't want to be so obvious but as you guys know this ring has a chokehold on me because of this design so kind of similar to the first ring that I recommended but this one is as you guys can tell the stone is white. There are obviously some other stone colors options for you whichever color speaks to you the most but for me these are the two colors that were my favorite and my other ring that I really want to recommend and this is the diamond tennis ring this one is not only beautiful but it is absolutely so comfortable because I feel like the way she had designed this ring the metal is way more malleable and if you even look at it from the side it is really really beautiful because of how the gold looks but together it's very comfortable and this one is also very easy to stack 
so I could even wear these two together like so. The next ring that I wear the most is this one here. It also has diamonds on it. There are three rings together in one and I just love the look of this. When you put it together and you put it on, it just looks so elegant you guys like this is what it looks like when you have it on and this is what it looks like from the side it is so beautiful a statement but yet dainty enough so i really really like it when i'm wearing all of my silver slash white gold i love to pull this up but this is what it looks like the next two rings that i recommend are also silver ones i'm going to take the gold off they're also great for a holiday like i said so the first ring is this one right here like i said the tint of blue honestly just reminds me so much of greece and it just looks so cute it really makes me feel like I'm on vacation. So I like to wear this when I want more kind of like a summer vibe. So I wear this more on vacation. And I know right now it's not summer, but this is the biggest sale of the year and people also go away for the winter. So now's the time to get it, you know? And then the last ring that I want to recommend you and the two look so good together, I must say, is this ring right here. I honestly don't have the name, so I'm gonna put it all on the side. This one is such a cute statement. It actually looks like a painting to me. Like, I don't know if I can explain it or if you guys resonate with what I'm saying, but it honestly looks like one of those paintings where you like splash it all over the canvas and then now you have it on your finger. It looks like a disorganized but beautiful mess because like I said, the lines are not like consistent. That's what makes this so beautiful, I feel like, because this is actually like a jewelry design. Like even the lines itself are purposely thicker or thinner in some areas. And I just really, really, really appreciate how this looks. So moving on to earrings, my first and foremost recommendation is from the same family as the pearl bracelet, the pearl necklace, but it is these pearl earrings right here. It is so unique because because on one side it starts off with the pearl with then with the gold dangling and then the other side it actually starts with the gold and has the pearl dangling I won't ever stop advocating for this line I feel like it is so beautifully designed if they came out with an anklet if they came out with I don't even know a purse I would get that because it is just this combo, I just, I don't, I don't know what to say about it. It's just so beautiful. So anyway, the earrings is a must have. The second one is a kind of the same vibe and also the vibe of this necklace here. So it is actually the earring version. And what is really interesting about this and what I love about it, if you guys have followed me for a long time, you know, I am all about efficiency. I'm about you know, the most bang for your buck. And I feel like you're gonna get this with these earrings. The chain is gonna look similar because it is literally the same chain as my necklace. Um, because I always, I don't know, just when I like something, I just wanna get it in like everything. So it's like, yeah, the earring, the bracelet, but you know what I mean? So anyway, this you can wear in so many different ways. Number one, you can take off the pearl. So if you don't like the pearl, you can take this off. The second thing is if you don't like how long it is, you can actually just wear it with one. And also if you don't like any of this and you just want a little simple bar, then you can just literally wear the top part on its own. So I feel like this is one of those earrings where you can get a lot of bang for your buck. In fact, if you don't even wanna order the pearl, you don't even have to order the pearl, but should you, order the pearl. You could also use the pearl as a pendant for your necklace. I know, right? It's like, what? I, anyway, she's, this girl's really thought it all out. Monica Vinader's got it figured out. So that is also why I really recommend this product because I just feel like you're getting a lot of bang for your buck and it just looks pretty obviously. The other set of earrings that I really like are these hoop earrings. These hoop earrings are in the sterling silver. It is so, so cute. I love the way that the earrings look on my ear. I just think it's really just like your classic thick, but not super big huggy. It's just thick. And I just feel like it looks really, really good when you have some silver statement jewelry on. That being said, my other favorite earring is the same design as one of the necklaces I recommended. It is this earring here. I mean, 
not just one earring earrings but this is once again just looks so malleable and just like dangly it just looks so cute and just such a great vibe for vacation i believe this also comes in gold so if the silver is not speaking to you then definitely try the gold but it is absolutely gorgeous and so comfortable to wear so i definitely recommend anyway that is pretty much it for the video today i really hope you guys enjoyed it and please stay tuned for my next monica vinegar video in the meantime if you want to check out my entire collection including some of the things that i didn't get to recommend today you can check out my website lisaway.com slash monica vinegar and as usual once again if you guys didn't make the black friday sale you can still save with my links down below for 20 percent off thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye